Alright guys, I'm back again with the live Smackdown, Super Smackdown show for tonight, um, February 21st, 2012. Uh, this was a great Smackdown. Um, when it first started, I thought it was kind of average, and it wasn't really doing much for me. It wasn't bad, just okay. But because of the main event, it became a great Smackdown. It was awesome. It was like a pay-per-view match. It was just great television and I mean after that match they could have had Kali in all the other matches on the show and because of that main event it still would have been a great Smackdown other people may feel differently but I really like this match I was into it um, I thought it was great very good stuff um, so to start the show Daniel Bryan comes out with AJ he talks about how no one believed him when he said he would main event Wrestlemania says he's the champ and is going to Wrestlemania. He talks about Santino trying to channel Rocky, but Brian uh, is a role model, and he's the real Rocky story. And then he says, Yo, AJ, I did it. And uh, I pop for that. And he says that as he was celebrating his uh, win at Elimination Chamber, it was ruined by Sheamus. And he's going to ruin his moment at Wrestlemania. He says he will show everyone and he will be victorious at WrestleMania and victorious tonight against Punk. So all of a sudden, The Miz comes out. And he says he knew Daniel Bryan would become champion, and he mentored him when he was his pro on NXT. He says he's not here to steal a spotlight, but to say congratulations on being in the main event of WrestleMania. He says after he beats Sheamus at Mania, they should form a tag team. No. Uh, Seamus comes out. He says he congratulates Brian on being a massive arse and hypocrite. Says he's a coward. After Mania, they will be saying he got what he deserved. So Miz gets in Seamus' face and says that he should be taken down a notch for interrupting him and trying to steal the spotlight. Seamus says Miz should let the guys who actually have a match at WrestleMania talk. And when he turns around, Daniel Bryan slaps him and runs away. Um, the Miz attacks Seamus from behind. Seamus throws him out of the ring and just stares at Daniel Bryan. Uh, it goes to commercial. When it comes back, it's The Miz versus Seamus. Um, Seamus wins with the Celtic Cross, but I thought this match was a little sloppy. Uh, it looked like they weren't really on the same page. Maybe some bad communication going on in the ring. I don't know what it was, but it just seemed off to me. Felt a little sloppy for a match. Um... I, I guess it was okay, but to me it felt a little sloppy. Uh, backstage we have Teddy, Long, and Oksana. Oksana says that Teddy should be the general manager of Raw and SmackDown. Laurinaitis and Otunga show up. Laurinaitis calls Teddy unprofessional. He says that uh, Teddy says he's got a special office for him. It's the bathroom or some lame joke. Uh, Otunga says that his office should be in the dumpster after he beats Ezekiel Jackson again tonight. Then we have Kofi Kingston and R-Truth um, versus Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler. So they are putting Truth and Kofi in another tag team match together. I hope it's not going to be a tag team. They do need more tag teams, but these guys, if they treated the tag team division better, it wouldn't be a big deal. But they treat it like crap, and they only have two, Primo and Epico and the Usos, and just WWE doesn't care about the tag teams. Being put in a tag team is horrible in WWE. So, if I was either one of these guys, I would really just want to stay a singles wrestler because it's just it's much better for you in the WWE. Um, they had an okay match. Is it Dolph Ziggler is wearing that pink shirt that says it's not showing off around his waist again. Um, I think he's just trying to stay relevant. They kind of stopped his push. Um, he was he was fighting the champion for a few weeks, and now he's just mid-card again. So it sucks for Dolph Ziggler. And uh, I guess he's just trying different ways to get people to notice him. Um, it sucks. It really does suck because Dolph Ziggler is one of these guys who has all the talent. He can do everything right. And he has everything it takes to be a main event wrestler. But it's his size. WWE do doesn't like guys who are smaller. And it just it sucks for Dolph Ziggler because everything else is perfect. <clears throat> uh, 
So uh, at one point in this match, I noticed Vicky kind of slips and falls, but she starts selling it and freaking out and screaming, and it was just great. It's like the best thing you could do if you kind of botch something and fall. So I thought it looked good. Um, Ziggler eventually beats Kofi with a zigzag. Uh, it was fine. Backstage, we have Santino. He's doing some kind of target practice with his Cobra. Keith Slater shows up and makes fun of him, and he says... This is not an ordinary cobra. It's a spitting cobra, and then it shoots some kind of liquid on Heath Slater. Um, they talk about the Twitter war with CM Punk and Chris Brown tweeting back and forth. I don't really care about this. Uh, Great Kali versus Drew McIntyre. Great Kali beats Drew McIntyre with two moves, a karate chop and the double-handed choke slam. That was it. Uh, just a squash match for a guy who can't work and doesn't need it. Uh, they recap Chris Jericho winning the Battle Royal. Um, then we have backstage the Big Show is talking to Matt Stryker. He says that Cody Rhodes is at the top of his you-know-what list and will snap his neck. Uh, then we have Mark Henry versus the Big Show. This was, this was okay by me. Um, Mark Henry actually at one point... <laughs> Big Show tries to throw a punch at him, and he turns around and catches him. And he's like, you try to sneak up on me? Sneak up on me? And it's just awesome to hear Mark Henry yell these things out during a match. I like it. Um, Big Show eventually hits the spear on him, but Cody Rhodes comes out and interrupts the match, and he starts making fun of the Big Show's WrestleMania career. He talks about his sumo match. And then he shows a video clip that I guess they're going to start doing. <clears throat> I think they're building towards Cody Rhodes versus Big Show at WrestleMania. I heard it's going to be Shaq versus Big Show, but we haven't seen anything about that. And right now, it just looks to me like if that doesn't come through, it's going to be Cody Rhodes versus the Big Show. I thought it was going to be Cody Rhodes versus Goldust, but they haven't started building that either. There's still a lot of time, so things could change, but right now, Big Show and Cody Rhodes are feuding. Um... Another thing that sucks about that is I thought there was still a lot more they could do with Daniel Bryan versus The Big Show. It looks like they're kind of putting the brakes on that and going forward with building to Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus. Um, I thought they could do a lot more stuff with the AJ Angle and Big Show. Have Daniel Bryan have it eventually come out that Daniel Bryan set AJ up to get hurt so that he could use her as a pawn and really get him a lot more heat. But I guess they just want to start the build with him and Sheamus and just forget about this Big Show thing. Um, so I think that kind of sucks. There was still a little more life you could squeeze out of that angle, but, you know, it, it is what it is. <clears throat> so Cody Rhodes shows this video clip of Big Show wearing the sumo outfit at WrestleMania and losing, and he just laughs at him. Um, then Big Show gets attacked by Mark Henry, who hits the big splash, but Big Show kicks out, hits Mark Henry with the WMD, and then instead of pinning him, he just leaves the ring and chases after Cody. Um, they show the recap of Triple H accepting Undertaker's challenge and turning into a Hell in a Cell match. Then we have uh, Ezekiel Jackson. Teddy Long comes out with him and Otonga. Laurinaitis comes out dancing, which was crazy, but he's Mr. Excitement. Um, they do one of these SmackDown things where they show a promo during the entrance. And it's Ezekiel Jackson talking about how on Raw he let all the SmackDown people down. And tonight, David Otunga's going down. Um, basically, David Otunga beats him clean again with the uh, leg trap, one-handed spine buster. And, uh, yeah, it's bad news for Ezekiel Jackson because he's lost twice now to David Otunga clean. Um, they recap Eve and John Cena's angle on Raw. <clears throat> and then they mentioned that Eve will explain herself on WWE.com for anyone who cares or wants to see that. Uh, backstage, we see Punk talking to Matt Stryker. Punk says he likes Teddy as the general manager better, and Laura should work at Men's Warehouse. It was a pretty funny line. Um, he says that he will address Chris Jericho on Raw, but then he cuts a promo on Daniel Bryan. He says that Daniel Bryan knows how to win. But tonight, Punk's going to teach him how to lose. Uh, pretty good promo here. Then we have the match of Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk. Um, if you did not watch SmackDown, watch it just for this match. 
or at least skip all the other crap and watch this match because it is good. It's pay-per-view quality, and it was just awesome. I can't say anything bad about it. Both of these guys worked in Ring of Honor together. They are friends in real life, and they both made each other look good here. It was just nobody was trying to one-up the other. They Obviously, they can't have one champion beat the other because then it makes the other belt look bad. So they always have to have some kind of swerve finish, but the match itself is just really good. And like I said, both guys looked great. Um, at one point, Daniel Bryan tries to leave, but Sheamus comes out and he throws him back in the ring. Punk hits him in the back of the head with a kick, and he gets the win. But John Laurinaitis comes out and says that the match needs to be started over because of interference. Uh, Daniel Bryan then gets a roll-up on CM Punk, but he holds onto the ropes. And he's holding onto the ropes right in front of Laurinaitis, and he gets the win. And Laurinaitis is just clapping. He doesn't even care that Daniel Bryan cheated. So Teddy Long comes out, and he restarts the match. Um, then at one point, Daniel Bryan's kind of going for a superplex. And CM Punk keeps throwing him off the top. He keeps running back up and stopping him. And they, go, they do this for a while, and it was a really cool build to the superplex. And... Daniel Bryan eventually hits the superplex off the top rope onto CM Punk, and then they both kind of hook each other's feet going for a pin. So both shoulders are on the mat for both guys, and it's a draw. And John Laurinaitis and Teddy Long are arguing over who really won the match. Um, Laurinaitis raises Daniel Bryan's hand. Teddy raises CM Punk's hand. And then the general manager is kind of getting each other's faces uh, Laurinaitis takes his jacket off. Teddy takes his jacket off and throws it at him. And uh, then Teddy just walks out. He leaves. And that was it. That was SmackDown for this week. Um, I have heard that they're possibly building towards a general manager versus general manager match at WrestleMania. Not with them wrestling, but they'll each choose a wrestler, which is maybe why they're building up David Otunga. And then Teddy Long will get a wrestler who could be Randy Orton, maybe. And then they will, whoever wins gets control over Raw and SmackDown. So they could be building towards that. Um, I guess that would be okay. It would kind of settle this general manager angle once and for all. But um, other than that, this was a really good SmackDown. Um, well, it was a really good main event for SmackDown. Uh, the rest of it was okay. It was kind of average. But the main event was great, and I thought it made it a great SmackDown. So definitely an awesome match um, and that's really all I have for this week um, I will be doing a movie review tomorrow and then I'll be back on Thursday for my TNA Impact review so uh, subscribe to my channel um, like the videos leave some comments and thanks for listening